Was Lars Ulrich right when he went after Napster in 2000? Lars and Metallica have gotten a lot of flack over the years, but if you were to ask Corey Taylor, Lars knew where music streaming was headed. Taylor recently sat down with Jackass alum Steve-O on his podcast, Wild Ride with Steve-O. During the interview, they talked about everything, from how Corey ages gracefully, to partying in Iowa, to how technology has impacted music today. When asked about Lars and Napster, Taylor said, I remember everyone giving him so much shit because of that, and he was so right on so many fucking levels, dude. It's scary. And I wonder how many people look back and eat a little crow because of that. Because he knew, he knew that this was the direction we were going. Taylor would then touch on the fact that he is more old school and would love it if people bought the CDs, flipped through the art, and read all the lyrics. But he also knows that streaming is what a lot of people now prefer. It's kind of weird, it's kind of hard, because in this day and age, it's really hard to know which ones of the fucking streaming services actually compensate the artists that they're ripping off. It's more important for me that people listen to the music. At this point, I've kind of made peace with the fact that there are various services who are just kind of screwing us. And until the legislation is actually enforced, which they passed under Trump, which I couldn't fucking believe, they'll keep charging us at that rate. But they've appealed that legislation. I don't think that appeals will actually go through. They will raise the rates and musicians will be able to make a living off of their recordings again. As reported the other day, the rumor is that Slipknot is currently in the studio working on a new album. So when the album drops, grab a physical copy, flip through the art, and read the lyrics. And that is all the music news for today, so if you haven't already, please like and subscribe so you get all of the latest updates here on Rockfeed.